Mewing is your tongue posture. The proper tongue posture is when your tongue is hitting the roof of your mouth. What this is doing is that the tongue is supporting the maxilla. And by supporting the maxilla and stretching your tongue out, your maxilla becomes wider. Not only that, because your tongue posture actually affects your neck flexion, it also affects whether you're a little bit hunched over or a little bit more posture straight. You will learn in my clear speech course that tongue posture posture and body posture greatly affects your speech. Here's a clip of when I was 17 years old talking to the camera and you can hear that my voice sounds very different. That's one way you could get the cough out. Of course that's kind of unhealthy but if you really want to get it out then go for it. There were two things happening there. One was that I had larger tonsils. Secondarily, when your tongue is not mewing, meaning it's not supporting the maxilla, then your mouth becomes more narrow. And when it becomes more narrow, because your tongue needs to go somewhere, it tends to sit on the back of your mouth. And when it sits on the back of your mouth, then breathing from your nose becomes harder. Anything that affects the airway of your throat, it's going to change the clarity of your voice. Of course, that's kind of unhealthy, but if you really want to get it out, then go for it. I had very large tonsils as well as my tongue posture tends to sit in the back. So you will see that I sound very different than I do today. You might be wondering to yourself, okay, how in the world does mewing your tongue posture affect your jaw or how strong your jaw is or how snatched your jaw is? In case you didn't know, there's a lot of hype around mewing itself because it's known to change your jaw shape to something more aesthetically pleasing. Well, simply put, when your jaw is in the proper position, your jaw grows forward like it should and like it's genetically trained to do. However, when our jaw is lax, we tend to have a recessed profile. If you tend to have a lot of cavities, if you ever had crooked teeth and had to get braces, there are two things happening. One is that you're probably not having the right tongue posture, meaning you're not mewing, pulling that tongue up into the roof of your mouth, and also that you probably eat modern food. Because modern food, you don't have to chew as hard. And when you don't have to chew as hard, you're not using your jaw muscles as much. In the history of humankind, it's very rare to see human bones that don't have straight teeth. And you might be wondering to yourself, how is that possible? How do our ancestors have straight teeth without dentistry? When it comes to this, it's not only the fact that they had mewing properly done, they had their tongue posture properly set, but it was also the fact that they chewed hard food. Unlike the modern food that we have, it's all soft, it's nice to chew on. I mean, I drink my vegetables and fruits in a liquid form. There was also this research that was done and they were studying this generational gap that had traditional food and the very next generation that had modern food. And the people who was just a generation before, so their parents had perfectly straight teeth, even had their wisdom teeth in, not a problem. And then the generations after, they had very crooked teeth. But also part of that, you can see that their mouth was also more narrow. Their jawline was narrowed because now everything's recessed as well. Diet has a lot to do with it. If you tend to be a vegetarian, let's say, you're going to tend to have that recessed look. If you tend to be a meat eater, you tend to have a stronger jaw and a forward face. Warning, I'm about to go down a quick 30 second rabbit hole, but stick with me here. There is a payoff. Which makes sense why we are more attracted to somebody with a strong jaw and a forward face in an evolutionary point of view. Because if you are able to acquire meat and consume meat, then obviously you are somebody with resources. If you tend to have a weaker jaw, then most likely you are a scavenger. It's the reason why when somebody's good looking, we almost assume that they have more resources on a subconscious level. And it's psychologically interesting because we want to give people who already have resources more resources. And Simon Sinek said this well, we tend to give to our leaders or who we perceive are our leaders. But it's with the social expectation that those same leaders, when they catch the lion or the elephant and hunt them down, that they'll share the meat, they'll share the resources. Now, I'm not gonna go into the politics of all of that, but that's the evolutionary idea of why we prefer somebody who has 
that strong jaw because we perceive them as the leader of the tribe and we want to give them the resources that will eventually come back to us in a community. It's the reason why we tend to give more good looking people a lot more chances, a lot more opportunities, perhaps a lot more leeway because of that subconscious psychology that's happening without us even knowing. So that's why there's a lot of products out there that has this ball where you're training your jaw but that's really bad for you if you don't have the proper jaw alignment which most people don't. This is a lot more easily addressed when you are still a child but most likely if you're watching my channel you are an adult and you're wondering to yourself okay well how am I supposed to fix this? If you guessed mewing you're catching on but sometimes mewing is just not enough for those people holistic dentistry might be the path. They utilize mouth appliances and other methodology in order to realign your jaw. This is something I'm personally going to go through and record my journey throughout. If that's something that you're interested in, comment below, let me know so I can do content specifically on holistic dentistry and of course subscribe if you haven't already. So what to do about this? It's very simple. All you have to do is place your whole tongue to the roof of your mouth. Another side effect that happens when you start mewing is that you start breathing through your nose. If you're not used to breathing through your nose, it might feel a little bit weird at first, but we're supposed to breathe through our nose. But one of my friend, his hack is that he duct tapes his mouth so he can breathe through his nose. I don't know if you want to go that far, but I will say that it has been working for him. His jaw is a lot stronger looking and it's probably because he's been forcing himself to breathe through his nose. You're probably not going to see any aesthetic results for months and months and months and even over a year. However, when it comes to your speech and your ability to breathe, depending on how severe your mouth breathing was, you might notice that you start to speak more clear within just a few weeks of mewing. Even in my clear speech course, I talk about about if you do have any chiropractic issues even if it's a hip problem your hips are going to affect the back it's going to affect your lungs and how you're able to breathe and it's going to affect your neck and if your neck is pushed forward it's going to affect your tongue it's going to affect your jaw it's going to affect how you utilize your mouth when you're speaking so again it's all correlated but when somebody looks at it that way it's almost overwhelming so i suggest start with mewing start with simply placing your tongue at the roof of your mouth it's such a simple thing to do today comment below and let me know if you're going to start mewing today or if it was very surprising that ancient people had straight teeth without any dental work because when i first heard that i didn't believe it but then when i looked at the research i I'm, you can't deny you can't deny these bones they were straight teeth they even had their wisdom teeth in and it was perfectly fine because of their eating habits as well as their tongue posture and I thought that was crazy so if you thought that was crazy comment below let me know that I'm not the only one here on this channel we talk about increasing your net worth by increasing your network and if that's something that you're interested in then please do subscribe hit that like button because I worked hard in this video and if you'd like to check out either any of my courses that I mentioned in this video or my one-on-one -on -one coaching session then all of that is going to be in the description down below I hope to see you on the next video